Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, I'm going to continue to work on our acid production, which is going to take a while. And so we got our first air separation going on here to make oxygen gas, to make sulfur dioxide gas. And so that's done, and then removing that sulfur dioxide, combining it with our purified water to make sulfuric acid. And so that has been piped in. I've made some adjustments here. I actually now have two lines of pipe uh, heading in here to feed these tanks. These tanks are now full. Uh, I was also noticing that we were not actually dealing with enough of the nitrogen gas. And it didn't have to do with the um, with the flare stacks. What it had to do with the fact is just the capacity of the pipe we hit the maximum on. So we'll have to pay attention to that. So I dumped some more flare stacks down here. On the other side of things. And that helped. Also, we were not feeding enough, uh, enough compressed air into the system. So I went ahead and added another route for compressed air to come in. So that's all good. It ran very well. So yeah, we're, we're good to go for the next... Uh, production chain, which is going to be for nitric acid. Now, it does occur to me that I need to grab a couple of things. All right, uh, give me a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I went and got the stuff I forgot. Uh, mainly more flare stacks and more air filters and stuff like that. So we just need to have those on hand. All right, so... We have a two stage of nitric acid that we need to make. And our first stage is what is using the nitric waste water itself. Now we probably won't be doing this. No, so we have the nitrogen monoxide. We need to turn nitrogen, monox nitrogen monoxide into nitrogen dioxide. So yes, we will need this. So I will need those air filters. Right. All right. So. And what's the actual capacity? Hold on. 810. It was too much for the pipe. All right. So we're pushing... If we're pushing 800, 800 per second, there's no way we're going to consume that much. Because there's no way we're producing that much. Right? There's no way we're producing that much nitric acid. Nitric wastewater. don't think we need to look at that. I do want to look again at how much nitric wastewater are we producing? Like, there's no way we're making that much. It's 22. 22 Flotation cells produces how much? 412.5. Yes. Yeah, that's. All right, yeah, that'll be fine. One pipe. Um. Right, because like this was scaled to just one chemical plant making nitric acid on this process. 
it can eat up to that much. It is not going to, but it can. Who should I build that many? Um... Because, let's see, half of that, 1,400, 700, a tenth of that. No? Two zero? Yeah, it's like point, like point one five is like what we're going to be able to make. That's going to make, uh, let's see, 33.8 per second. Um, nitrogen monoxide gas. And so for this, we actually need to downscale it to what? What if we said, um, one? And we're just making it enough for us to break even, I think. Well, it's a much more reasonable construction, that's for sure. All right, we'll build this, and then we'll see how it shakes out as far as um, how fast we are eating our nitric wastewater, right? So what we'll do is we'll do one of these. Let's see this point. Do we ever like what was what was one? One does five. So like point two is what that would have a capacity. So if we did point two one, then we would need two. Right, so point two is what we'll scale it for. So one one four. That makes some sense. Okay. That means we probably don't need to use our blueprints. I mean, although I could do two, two, and eight, just to have the scale of just have the capacity available if we have another source of nitric wastewater from anywhere yeah okay we'll do two two and and eight uh, it really would be one two and eight because we'd never touch the second one okay then i'll just admit, build that by hand all right, so first things first, we're going to need our, I should have this. All right. Yep, we're going to need these. Now, what we are producing off of this, are we producing a solid? Yes, we are. We're producing sodium nitrate. All right. So you are switching your recipe. Oh, actually, we need two of those, don't we? Oh, I... Oh, I wanted to do eight, didn't I? There we 
There we go. Old habits. All right. So you are doing nitric. All right. So now we need to feed it the nitric acid. And then we need to hook the mineralized water and purified water up into the mineralized water and purified water systems. Right. Yep. Which, right there. Now, these should be getting clarified eventually, right? Oh, that's the wrong side. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to hook it up to that. That's the wrong side of the purified water system. We actually need to hook that purified water up into this this side of the purified water system, right? Yep, yep, yep. Where we need them. I really probably need to organize um, those pipes a little bit better, but I might have to think about that once everything's in. had an attack. No problem. Alright, now mineralized water. We can just go straight into there because... through here. Uh, mineralized water. We'll go ahead. I'll send the mineralized water through here. And try and keep everything onto the same the same side of things. And why is there no mineralized water in the pipe? Because those tanks are not full. I see. Okay, because those are not running. Because that isn't running. Because this is all full up. Yes. Now the question is, do I need those to run full speed? Speed all the time. I don't know. Uh, if it becomes a problem where it's purified water that's holding us up, then maybe. But the minute we start consuming any of our acids, it should cause this whole system to move. And as long as I have a good buffer, which these tanks are also acting as my buffer, then I should be fine. Enough buffer to keep the system moving while everything kind of primes and fires back up. Right. Okay. So next thing we need is a one input... One input chemical plant. One input to output. 
I should have both. Now, I did not replace this with a generic one, but we might go ahead and do that right now. The That is two input, one output. That is one input, two output. Right. Let me just drop that in there for a second. Hold on, actually. Let me drop that in here a second where we'll have our bots actually assemble it. So basically, I just want to clear the recipe out so that we can then go in here and we're going to rename this not as air separator. It's going to be, what was I calling that? Chem plant two in, one out. This is going to be chem plant one in. One in, two out. There we go. Let's forget to add those in. Yep, go ahead and grab that. Now, we also have to have the belt and room for an inserter. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this down a little bit because I need that room for pipes. So it would be there. We would add that in. We would move that. Oh, what, what did I just do? No, pick up there, drop there. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do not want to start smashing my way through the stuff that I've just built. So you guys are going to be doing what? You're going to be taking... So we have nitrate and compressed air. Is that what we're taking? So we have nitrate and compressed air. Indeed. We are going to need compressed air. Hmm. I wonder if I can route the compressed air. Yes, I should be able to. Sulfur dioxide gas is going to have to go into a tank, and I want it to be a fairly large tank. The other stuff is going to get buffered into a smaller tank. Now, my... do actually I should do this while I'm while I'm working is we're gonna route our compressed air this way Over there
That should provide the capacity we need. Alright, let's hook this up to the nitric wastewater. So that it can actually start producing. So where is our nitric wastewater? Our nitric wastewater is here. Let's bring it... There. Oh, oh, that's not where we're hooking that. Whoopsie. That is where we are hooking that. There we go. All right, so. As I was saying, that the nitrogen monoxide gas is a byproduct. The nitrogen dioxide gas is what we want. Um, it's technically a byproduct. Let's hook you into there. Here. You get hooked in. Ooh, actually, we need to... Do this so that this pipe can come out this way. Oh, and that's right in the way. I could not get away with only using one. It's all right. So now we just need the one chemical plant that has two inputs. Which we'll put in by hand. It will be fine. All right. Let's put it there. And that means in actuality. Hmm. Which inputs are which? You are making nitric acid is what you're making. So yeah, that one is going to be... Let's see, we're gonna do it like this. We'll put that in there just in case we need it. Purified water. Now, what we want is the purified water side that's on the basically the purified water that's on the other side of the buffer. So here, this purified water route here is where we want to connect. There we go. All 
I'm gonna need to go grab some more underground pipe. That's all right. So this is where nitric acid is going to be. And there we go. Now. That is only one side of this particular production line. We now need five more. Okay. Um Actually, how much Yeah, we're producing 45. No, we're not. We're producing something more along the lines of 33. But we're going to scale to this anyway, so... I think we'll call it six air purifiers, just for coverage. Oh, you need to be twos. One, one, and two. That's for oxygen. And what we could do is we just increase the oxygen production. And then we just route the oxygen over from where it's being... Oh. I would need to move these flare stacks. But it's fine. We can move the flare stacks. Two, four, and six. Eh, we might as well just go ahead and build as many of them as we can. on this line. How many would we need? Just those two? Let's do this like this. Won't go far enough.
There we go. Now, if we need any more oxygen for any of these other processes, which we almost certainly will, I'm going to have to make a whole nother line. But for now, I should be able to borrow this oxygen production and get this routed. through here. Right. So then we don't need that. We don't need that. We just need this. One chemical plant. Taking these two inputs. And then actually root it back. Well, yeah, and then root it back into that. Okay. So actually, I think we needed two. Ooh, so I have to have this set backwards, don't I? Yes, I do. All right, well, we'll just have to do it by hand then. Fortunately, it's only two. So then we'll just need one chemical plant over here. It is going to be a two input, single output. Right? Like this. And I guess we could always scale up to two. I mean, we won't be able to feed it enough, but that's all right. gonna do is this will route into there and then what we'll take is oh we need to figure out which inputs are gonna be which we need to be turning Nitrogen monoxide gas and oxygen into nitrogen dioxide gas. Yes. Okay, so nitrogen dioxide gas is going to connect to this side. Ooh. And oxygen is going to route through there. has both of these guys running. Now, is that number going to get smaller or bigger? I think it should get smaller. So we should be consuming more than we're producing. I think. Maybe not. Well, if it is getting smaller, it's hard to say. Alright, now, the other thing that we're going to need is a train. And I will need some stuff. 
because we're going to be using petrochem fluid wagons. One, two, three, four. And we're going to need a locomotive. So I want to get that train filling up and then have it go over to where our rubite mine is and start feeding that acid over there so that we can actually set up an infinite rubite mine. Call it a day there. Where are engine units? Engine units should be down here. I need some steel too. Engine units are here. That should let me build the Petrochem locomotive. Here's our locomotive. There. One, two, three, and a four. No, we're, we're, we're getting all that. All right, so. We are going to be at Manufacturing Alpha, Nitric Acid Loading. We want full cargo inventory. Uh, we need to take that over here. And I need to pick one of these. You. Oh, what is that? This is Mine Alpha, Sulfuric Acid. This will be Mine Alpha... Uh, nitric acid. Done. Nitric acid unloading. Alright. Yep. So, mine alpha, nitric acid unloading, empty cargo inventory, um, and then go grab... Fuel. No, not inactivity. Time passed 10 seconds. Ooh, and you need some, some starter fuel. I'll just borrow some from this train. All right, start her up.
Well, let's tell the head of the mine. And why are we going all the way out here? Oh, because we gotta go into the mine. Uh, mm, I see. It'll take several cycles for it to get completely full of fuel. It has an equipment grid. How about that? I don't know what equipment you could actually put in here, but it has an equipment grid. All right, but we'll go ahead and end this episode here. And so we'll move on to the next, which will be our hydrochloric acid. Get that rolling and get that moved over to the mine. And then I think off screen, I will have to move some of these mines that are not running though it looks like most of them still are some of these non-running mines onto the infinite and start feeding start feeding the mines with the acid Alright, but for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.